Well, a big time star of the stage is coming to town for some musical performances. Cody off Broadway Stark, standing by with all the details this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan <laughs> James joining us right Woo! now. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing great, doing great. There's probably people in Modesto right now went, wait, I went to high school with her. I went to high school with her. <laughs> Uh, Morgan, uh, before we get going here, uh, would you share the how you got into Juilliard story? Because I feel like this is so important and I think this says a lot about you. Oh, yes, yes. So I went to high school at Johansson High School in Modesto, California. Ooh. And Modesto is where I spent junior high and high school. It's where I found choir and theater and my first voice teacher. And, and it really fostered my whole musical beginning. And I really, really wanted to go to Juilliard. It's a very difficult place to get into. And everyone around me, you know, was very encouraging, but also wanted to add a dash of, it's very unlikely. Um, so I, I sent in a pre-screening tape, which you have to do for voice, piano, violin. And I was accepted for an audition. So my dad and I flew out to New York. We went to the audition. And then I was accepted for a further callback. So I did that. Got home, waited, waited by the phone. And I was waitlisted. <clears throat> I was accepted everywhere else that I applied, but I was waitlisted at Juilliard. And I instantly thought to myself, this is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> they, they made a mistake. I, I need to convince them that they're wrong. And so I kind of went on a, a campaign to convince them that I should should be able to go there. I love and, that. Uh, ultimately, they let me in. I, I basically sent in every letter and 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 everything short of a bribe. I sent in every <laughs> everything. I think of that that could convince them that I that I needed to be there and I think that tenacity that that shows what you got to do to make it this is what you got to do to make it okay so you you get on Broadway tell them about your first Broadway show who were you on stage with oh my gosh my first Broadway show was pretty epic because it was the Adams family with Nathan Lane BB Newirth Terrence Mann Kevin Chamberlain wow. Becky Jackie Hoffman, just incredible cast of superstar comedians. Um, and uh, yeah, it was such a wonderful experience to, I, I got to do that five times over, create a musical from scratch. So um, it, it was, my time on Broadway was so special and it taught me a lot about hard work and stamina and all sorts of things. And, and like, what a master class working with all those talented people. Just get uh, I absolutely love uh, Morgan James Live, the celebration of Nina Simone. I, I think this is one of the most beautiful albums I've ever heard. And you oh. like nailing Nina Simone's songs. I mean, just makes my heart flutter thinking about it. It was so good. What was about Nina's music that drew you to her? Oh, thank you so much. You know, um, that was my first record when I was first signed to Epic Records. Um, and uh, I've just always loved Nina and she gets right to the core of what a song is about and what music is about. And she's so soulful. I mean, if, if Nina Simone doesn't move you, I, I really check your, check your pulse. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now you're touring right now. Uh, you're gonna be in a couple different spots around Northern California. What can people expect? Because you do so many covers and you, and you try and you sample. So like, you, like the Beatles White Album, you did your own version of that. I mean, so what are they gonna see when you're on stage? Yeah, you know, singing my favorite covers and covering a full album has become something that I'm a little known for. Um, this tour is is going to be a lot of my original soul music. Um, we're, of course, going to do some of our favorite soul covers as well. Um, we change the setup a little bit each night, um, but it's I've been traveling with an incredible band. So I think people are going to absolutely love this band. Um, we're going to be at Yoshi's tomorrow night on the 10th. Love Yoshi's. Uh, what? Love Yoshi's. That's the best Lovely. place. The best place. And yeah. it's got a real organ. I mean, it's just a great place to hear music. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be playing Yoshi's on the 10th, and then we're playing uh, Blue Note Napa for two nights. Oh, we have four wow. sets at the Blue Note. <gasps> so uh, we're just, we're going we're gonna to have a great time. I love being back here, of course. So what you're saying is I need to travel to each location because the show is going to be different every night. Yes. Okay. Yes. Done. <laughs> done I do have done. some fans that come to very very near every show so i want to make sure that they get an exciting show every single night <laughs> <laughs> are they called james heads what are the, what, are, what do you call the fans they're called the usual suspects it kind of is a name that came about in the in the pandemic because i would do these online shows every saturday and every saturday i would look and i would see the same names on the you know in the chat uh -huh. say oh I, I see we have the usual suspects and so now they're <laughs> 
that is fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Seriously, that live Nina Simone album is perfection. It is so beautiful, and I can listen to it every day and just get rid of all my other music. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me this morning. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Have a Bye. good one. Back to you, Court.